friends, I'm Marty Walden here to share more of my personal journey through a diagnosis of HIV and AIDS. After finding out that I was HIV positive from a failed life insurance test, I then tried to piece together and try to figure out when I had been infected. I was in a 35 year marriage at the time when my entire life exploded with the diagnosis. I was started looking back at events and sicknesses to try to piece together how long I had had the virus. Because my ex would not be forthcoming, I've just had to do my best at trying to figure out these things for myself. The first stage is the acute HIV infection stage. After the initial infection, two to four weeks later, you may have some flu-like symptoms and you may get sick and not know what it is. HIV multiplies rapidly at this stage and spreads throughout the body. The virus attacks and destroys the infection-fighting CD4 cells of the immune system. The level of HIV in the blood is very high, which greatly increases the possibility of transmitting it to others. If you start on the antiretroviral therapy called ART at this time, there are significant health benefits to doing so. I believe I was infected at least eight years before my diagnosis. I looked for illnesses that might have indicated this initial infection, a sickness that could last a few days to a few weeks. The second stage of HIV infection is the chronic stage. This is also called asymptomatic HIV infection or clinical latency. During this stage, the HIV continues to multiply in the body, but at very low levels. People with chronic HIV infection may not have any HIV related symptoms. Without the ART treatment, chronic HIV infection usually advances to the last stage, which is AIDS. And it can take 10 years or longer to reach the stage of AIDS if you are untreated. Though in some people, it can advance faster. People who are taking ART may be in this stage for several decades. While it is still possible to transmit HIV to others during this stage, people who are on the ART therapy exactly as prescribed and maintain an undetectable viral load have effectively no risk at transmitting the HIV to an HIV negative person. Because I didn't know that I had HIV, I believe the second stage started four years after the initial infection, and I may be totally off base and have had the, the HIV virus in my system for much longer, but this is my best guess. Four years before the diagnosis, I began having weeks long periods of viral illnesses. I'd go to the doctor and they wouldn't know what was wrong and they would last about three weeks and then stop. And I had several of these experiences throughout a year's time. The following year, I went to a functional medical doctor because in a three week time, I had sinusitis and bronchitis, shingles, and then pneumonia. I was just desperately sick and needed answers and something to make me feel better. So I went to see a functional medical doctor. At that point, I was diagnosed with the Epstein-Barr virus and I spent thousands of dollars on testing, on supplements, on doing anything and everything the functional medical doctor said, but I didn't feel any better. So stage three is AIDS. AIDS is the final most severe stage of the HIV infection. Because HIV has severely damaged the immune system, the body can't fight off the opportunistic infections. These opportunistic infections are infections and infection-related cancers that occur more frequently or are more severe in people with weakened immune systems than in people with healthy immune systems. People with HIV are diagnosed with AIDS if they have a CD count of less than 200, which I do, or if they have certain opportunistic infections. Once a person is diagnosed with AIDS, they can have a high viral load and are able to transmit HIV easily to another person. Without treatment, people with AIDS typically survive about three years. Whew. Listen to that statement again. 
without treatment, people with fully diagnosed AIDS typically survive about three years. I was literally dying and didn't know it. And I'm so grateful to God for that life insurance test that I took and I failed. And so this was the stage I found myself in. I had lost 25 pounds. I never felt well. And I realized now that I was in the stage of what's called wasting. But because of my failed life insurance test, two years ago, I began the art therapy and my viral load immediately decreased to undetectable levels, which means I can't pass the virus on to someone else. However, in the two years since then, my CD4 count has only increased to 110. So I am still considered to have AIDS at this point. Mm -hmm.